So, Regine, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your poetry and mm -hmm. the things that you wanted to write about and your influences. Uh, so, in terms of what I write about, I guess I write a lot about my mother. Um, mm -hmm. I write about queerness and, I guess, cultural sort of um, hybridity and being from Hong Kong, but writing and living in London um, and sort of what comes out of that, um, negotiating different spaces and places and identities as well. Oh wow, sounds interesting. Um, and you've got a collection coming out from Faber mm -hmm. next year, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so I guess um, a lot of the poems from the pamphlet will be in the um, debut collection, mm -hmm. but I suppose I do expand on a lot of the themes. Um, I look deeper into, I suppose, what it means to speak one's truth. Um, I have a few poems that feature um, Chinese characters, but hopefully not in a way that's cliche, but more in terms of being bilingual and negotiating whether or not there is a place for Chinese language in Anglophone poetry. Oh, that sounds interesting. Um, and can I ask a little bit about your influences? So which, which poets you read, which ones you enjoy, which have had an impact on your work? So in terms of, I suppose, older influences, Adrian Rich is a person I read a lot when I was in my early 20s. Um, I've also read a lot of poetry in translation, so you have some Latin American poets like Paulo Neruda, Octavio Paz, who I suppose I found really influential um, when I was first beginning to write. And then in terms of more contemporary voices, I, I really love Kai Miller's work. Um, other favourites include Emily Berry, uh, Sarah Howe, Mona Arshi, um, a lot of familiar names, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Dragon Hill Spa, Seoul, South Korea. It is the year 2016, but you know how women tame their own bodies into bones, dig their own graves in daylight. Here, for once, in a hot bath of rainbows, the bodies let themselves go, the water holds them up to the light, the lips murmur a prayer to skin. Here, the only hands that touch their wrists are their own. Here is no man's land. Here, the names of soldiers, heavy-handed, are forgotten. Here, no one takes what they want from the women whose gods are freely chosen, whose bones are theirs to bury. Uh, hi, I'm Mary Jean Chan, and uh, do come and hear me and Jennifer Li Tsai and Shi Chuan speak at the Manchester Literary Festival on the 13th of October. See you there.